Hello, hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this series, we will focus on the Stranger missions, which are the side quests of the game. And today's Stranger mission is the Ties That Bind Us. Uh, you can find this in Roads. So we pick up where we left off in the last episode having just rescued Tilly from the Foreman Brothers and we are gonna make our way back towards camp and get ourselves another nice cup of coffee and possibly a nice rest. We have been on the road for some time and you may notice this is not my horse uh, and you are very much right in that assumption this is not my horse this is a stolen horse my horse is back at camp uh, we had to leave camp in a hurry and in a wagon in the previous episode so we are gonna make our way back with this horse and we'll sell it off or abandon it or something along those lines and we will retrieve Apophis so on our route on our way back we are encountering what looks like a free show a couple of guys having a fight it appears underneath a tree up ahead let's go and investigate Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'll right. tall you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! So these two fine upstanding gentlemen have found themselves in a bit of a bind and are unable to enter into roads due to some unwarranted warrant posters or wanted posters uh, been dotted up around the town. Uh, we need to collect up five of them Three are relatively easy and two not quite so much. So I know where all five are located luckily enough. And we're going to start with the one in the post office slash train station. And it is just behind us here on the notice board. I haven't actually noticed it as yet. Ah, there we are. I've spotted it. So we're going to collect up the five wanted posters. And then we are going to return to Mr. Black and Mr. White here. Forty dollars each, is that all? That's pathetic, boys. Right, so that is our first poster collected. Day, uh, we're just going to make our way through the town and collect up the other four. Now, as I mentioned, two of these posters are not quite so easy to just pick up. Uh, we are going to have to get into a couple of fights. So we're going to head straight down the main road and somewhere along here nailed to a post will be another wanted poster and that will be our second. It's around here somewhere, I know it. Uh, you can use the minimap as a, uh, a reference but the posters only show up on the minimap when you're quite close already. So just run down the main road and here is our next poster and it's being blocked by this gentleman so we're gonna ask him kindly to leave and he is going to kindly refuse so this will end in a bit of fisticuffs I'll show you moving mate 
And get out the blooming way. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, so it's a fight you want, is it? Uh, have that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, Christ. You got a hard hit. Is that like your hard head? Whoa. Right, I've had enough of you. <clears throat> Down you go, mate. Right, I'll have that poster. All this could have been avoided, you know. All you had to do was take one step to the left. So, poster number three collected. And hat retrieved. And grab that hat, go on. Well done, Arthur. So, continuing on down the street, and uh, we should encounter before too long another lamp post or telegraph post with a poster attached to it. Unfortunately, also outside of this one or next to this one, we have a uh, bounty hunter. It's not next to this one, it's next to the next one. So this one is unguarded and it's just here by the cemetery area towards the end of town and we can then continue on up the road and at the next post you can already see the guy I think he's going to collect it is another bounty hunter and we need to get the post off of him the poster so we're just gonna go straight in with the fight he's brought a knife with him but we can block the knife attack and down he goes now we are gonna have to loot this guy for the poster and there is a witness to the fight and that it does not bode well for me so once again retrieve our hat before we leave that's not your hat Arthur put the hat down that belongs to the man there right, that's your hat well done so we need to get out of here before the witness contacts the police and they come a running so we're gonna vacate the area for now we have four of our posters and we're just gonna run away to a safe distance and retrieve the fifth and final poster in the morning once everybody's gone back to their normal usual habits and the fifth poster is on the wall outside of the sheriff's office uh, just on the billboard here and this will be poster number five collected took rather longer than I expected it to having to run out of town until morning but we do now have all five posters so we're gonna go and locate Mr. White and Mr. Black and we now are presented with two options we can either turn them in and end the side mission right there or we can set them free Pretty hot. That's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. So our kind-heartedness has set the two men free, and hopefully they will turn their lives around, and we won't be seeing them ever again. I happen to know different through the powers of editing. Uh, a few days later, not too far from this location, we will run into these two yet again so we're just gonna wander off and wander through the wilderness for a few days and eventually we will encounter Mr. Black and Mr. White once more and we will catch up with how their lives are being turned around so they are just up ahead of us now and They've picked a lovely little spot here. It's very, very pretty, apart from this gorge that I didn't notice. But we survived that. And just over on our left, it looks like I see a tent. So this must be where Mr. Black and Mr. White are currently staying at the edge of a dry riverbed. Oh, these two don't look too well at all. Let's go and see if we can help. 
Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Oh. Uh -oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me, I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm, I'm begging you, partner. Oh. Uh, oh, why? I told you it'd help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. no give it to White. No, no. Drink no. this and shut Take it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Ooh. But listen, uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe uh, split up. Uh, Head up north or overseas. Uh, they don't like uh, groups of men. Uh, I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. So it turns out our friends here were tripping out on mushrooms, and we have just luckily had an antidote on us if you don't have the antidote you'll have to go and buy one from the nearest shop uh, luckily as I mentioned we have quite a bit of medicine on us I've got a fair bit stored up so we were able to just hand over the medicine make the boys feel better and we can be on our way and we will again after several days of wandering the wilderness once again stumble upon Mr. Black and Mr. White and it seems that things are finally looking up for them they have themselves a nice little home out in the woods here so let's go and say hello I can see one of them waving at me already hello there I say do you speak English? Hey, you alright mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine Oh, I know you two. Hey, look who it is. Oh. <laughs> I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty... Well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. High and Mighty, he don't listen to no one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. So it seems Mr. White and Mr. Black are settling down quite nicely. We're going to leave the story there for now and we will pick it up again in the next episode. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.